Hi, this is the Ashley Corinne, and uh, this is a this video is gonna talk about my ba my background in magic. Uh, I remember my first uh, exposure to a witch was uh, my mom's best friend when I was a child uh, was a witch. She was a quote unquote white witch, and so I assumed she was Wiccan. Although back then I didn't know what Wicca was, um, really. Uh, and I, I was raised in a Mormon household, uh, and for anyone who's not, uh, familiar with Mormonism is, it's a pretty conservative religion, and so my mom, uh, basically stopped hanging out with her best friend because she was a witch, um, but from what I remember, uh, she was a really nice lady, uh, you know, she was never malicious or she was never a bitch you know from what I can recall she always seemed like a pleasant woman and uh, and then when I was in high school I started looking into uh, you know Wicca because Wicca really interested me and um, although I never really got into it at the time um, I remember uh, uh, my one of my girlfriends, like right after I graduated high school, I uh, had this girlfriend who was Wiccan, and I didn't know she was Wiccan at the time, you know, when I got with her, and then once I, once we kind of hooked up, I found out that she was Wiccan, and uh, she actually cast a love spell on me, and she told me about it, and uh, for as far as I know, it worked. Because she told me about it, and she kind of how she described it was, she was like, I, I cast a spell on you so that you would never fall out of love with me. And and then she was like, well, but I combined it with this other spell, so I don't know if it'll work or not. But as far as I'm concerned, you know, it, it worked, you know. I mean, I, I had other girlfriends. It wasn't like I have this obsession with her. But, you know, I, I still like her, and I would still, you know, I would, I would still get back with her. But, um, she was a Wiccan, and, uh, you know, that influenced me as well, and then, you know, after breaking up with her, and, uh, you know, a few years passed by, when I was 21, I found out about Satanism, as in, you know, the Church of Satan, Levain Satanism, and, uh, I, I bought the Satanic Bible, and I read it, and I still have a copy of it, um, and it's honestly one of my favorite books there is because although I'm not a Satanist and I and I don't really necessarily believe in everything that they believe in um, I think that Anton LaVey understood how magic worked and he was an atheist is the funny thing he understood how magic worked and he used magic and uh, I think that anyone who wants to get into the practice of magic or who practices magic right now should read the uh, the Satanic Bible because I think it has a lot of good points in it and a lot of good practical knowledge. But um, and then after that, I had another girlfriend who was Wiccan as well, and uh, you know, so I kind of seems like I've been drawn to witches, you know. And then, of course, I kind of discovered throughout time that, you know, I was a witch and I had always been a witch. But, you know, I just, you know, being raised in a Mormon household, it kind of, you know, it kind of, uh, you know, they... They teach you that witchcraft is uh, wicked, that it's sinful, and that it's the work of s the devil and all that stuff. But you know, I've I'm I've been getting more into Wicca now, and uh, I think for a long time I was uh, like I was raised in a pa in a patriarchal religion, Mormonism, which uh, you know they believe. The funny thing about Mormonism is that it's a it's kind of a Christian, a superficially Christian religion, but it's actually more pagan. And, uh, because they believe in a god and a goddess. 
But the thing is, although they believe in a god and a goddess, they worship God and they pray to God. And if you were to uh, pray to the goddess who you believe in as a Mormon, it would be considered uh, maybe sinful or, uh, or uh, inappropriate at the very least. You know, and they don't really teach you about the goddess or who they call Heavenly Mother. Like, basically, she's just, uh, she's just there as our Heavenly Mother, and, uh, they don't really talk about her. But, um, and so once I stopped going to church, to, to the Mormon church, and I, you know, checked other things out, and I got into Gnosticism, and, uh, um, and I started looking more towards goddesses, and, uh, you know, I focused, I guess I kind of went to the other side of the, of the spectrum as I started worshiping goddess more, and goddess, 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 and I kind of shunned God, you know, but, you know, lately I've been, uh, kind of being drawn back more towards Wicca, and I don't, I don't think it's a coincidence that I dated two different girls that were Wiccans, and when I dated them, I didn't know they were Wiccan. And I remember uh, my second Wiccan girlfriend, this was after I had been married and divorced, I met this girl and I actually cast a love spell on her. And I guess it worked, because we got together, we hooked up and became boyfriend and girlfriend shortly after that. And then after that, I found out that she was Wiccan. And so, you know, I think I'm just drawn to that. And I've been watching uh, Charming Pixie Flora's uh, videos, uh, I mean, I've watched a few of them, I don't really, I don't really watch a whole lot of videos on YouTube, tell you the truth, but, um, I've been watching her vid videos, and I've kind of been, you know, it's been really resonating with me, and I feel like right now in, in my life, um, I feel like I'm at a turning point. Whoa, it's like a horror film. Ah! But anyways, um, I feel like I'm at a turning point in my life and where when I, growing up, I was worshiping God over here, but not worshiping goddess. And then I swung over to this side and I started worshiping goddess and not worshiping God. But I feel like I really need to go in the middle. In the middle. And, you know, because... I think that that's really, I think if you worship strictly a masculine deity or strictly a feminine deity, it's really, you know, unbalanced, you know? It's like only, only worshiping light and shunning the darkness or only worshiping darkness and shunning the light, you know? It's like only worshiping the sun and shunning the moon or only worshiping the moon and shunning the sun just unbalanced, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, um, but, and, I don't know what to say, but I still have a minute to fill. I gotta, I gotta fill every minute. I gotta fill every minute, man. But, yeah, so, So that's my background. Bye. Okay, I think I'll.